What are you doing? I'm trying to get my lens ready for the eclipse. With eclipse glasses? Yeah. Instead, use one of these. Whoa. Both of these are homemade filters for your camera that you can make at home. A mounted lens and a filter hat. First one we'll look at is this mounted eclipse filter that you can use to make at home for an effective total cost of about $10. You can use cutout pieces of solar sheet in between two really cheap UV filters and screw it into your lens. It's secure with no light leak if installed properly. This setup is great for everyday solar photography and taking pictures of a partial solar eclipse, but not for a total eclipse because uninstalling and reinstalling this will take time and you risk losing focus because the threading can grab onto the lens and turn it. For a total eclipse, what you need is a homemade solar filter hat like this. This can easily pop onto your lens like so. And when you're in totality, all you need to do is pull it off in a fraction of a second. And you can use the saved time to adjust your exposure settings if your setup isn't automated. This is similar to the solar filter hat that we made in this video for a telescope a few months ago. Except this time, I would recommend making the tube of the hat a little bit longer and looser. Unlike a telescope, you can affect the focus and maybe even the zoom of the lens if it gets caught. Making the tube longer decreases the likelihood of this falling off, but even then you can use a very small piece of tape to secure it into place. But you have the same warning to make sure that you don't accidentally affect the focus. Don't worry about the eclipse filter in front being off center or at an angle. As long as the solar disk is visible, you'll be okay and the solar disk is pretty small on a lens with this focal length. Comparing the two again, the mounted one is great for partial eclipses and everyday solar imaging. It's also very portable and sturdier, and if it's done correctly, it can last a very long time. But it is a tiny bit more expensive. The Eclipse hat is perfect if you're imaging a total solar eclipse. It's really easy to make and you can use any design you want. It's extremely cheap and it's versatile and can be used on multiple lenses with ease. It's a little bit less portable because of the design and the solar sheet itself is open to the elements and can be damaged if not stored correctly. The total effective cost for this one was $2 for me and for the mounted one was about $10. So which type of solar filter are you going to use? Remember to practice safe solar viewing and only get solar sheets and eclipse glasses from AES recommended manufacturers and resellers. More eclipse videos coming soon. Clear skies.